<laughs> Welcome back to the Impact Wizard, and today we're going to talk about, talk about the impacts and breakdown of the Cedar Fair Six Flags merger. So let's go get right into it. All right, so Six Bags and Cedar Fair merged officially on July 1st. Today is July 5th, so it's been four days since the merger. And I just want to kind of want to discuss what my thoughts about that are. It's been, they own now 42 parks um, between, between the two companies. And I, you know, they are... Um, one the one big company, but this is what's going. I'm trying to get the logo for you. That is the Six Flags Entertainment Corporation. That is their official new name. But most of Cedar Fair's people will be in charge in the six. They get the Six Flags name, but they use the Cedar Fair branding, the font for the Six Flags name. And I think it actually looks pretty good right here. Uh, six Flags Entertainment Corporation. Yeah, yeah. Cedar Fair font is much bolder. And they have, of course, the little flag. So they should have put, like, it would be cool if they can incorporate six flags on the eye. But it looks overall pretty good. And, of course, July 1st says Cedar, six flags and Cedar for, uh merger. The equal successfully completed. So that is fantastic. And they have, again, they have a whole bunch of parks here. Um, here's the map. They have 42. 42. All the way from the West Coast, Midwest, and East Coast. It's funny, the whole Mountain West, though, does not have a single Six Flags of Cedar Fair Park. I'm curious. We're talking, well, one of the impacts of people are asking which one of these will be open or closed or what's going on, which, which ones might be sold off. Well, the two biggest parks in the respective chains are Six Flags Magic Mountain in terms of attendance. Six Flags Magic Mountain for Six Flags and Cedar Point. For, or sorry, not it's either Cedar Point or Nosso Bay Farm for Cedar Fair. Six Bags, Magic Mountain, and Nosso Bay Farm, as well as Cedar Point, will all be staying. California's Great America uh, is previously slated to close by 2034, 2033. So that one's probably going away. Six Bags is covered Kingdom, though, will probably stay because California Great America is going away. So they, Six Bags, or no. Need uh, some sort of theme park up north, so that's what that they'll probably stay there. Hurricane Harbor, Phoenix does not have an actual Six Flags park. I wonder if they'll actually build new ones with these. I don't think so, but that's you know, obviously people say, you know, which parks will be sold off or whatever. But uh, what if they throw a choice? What if they actually build a new park or acquire a new park? Um, which would be pretty interesting at, after selling some off. Something like, uh, I'd say, La Ronde. I feel like that one is a candidate for being closed or sold off. Um, Canada's Wonderland is certainly staying. But some of these smaller ones like Dorney Park, Michigan's Adventure. Um, you got uh, maybe, maybe even some of these like Schlitterbahn. Schlitterbahn uh, like maybe some of these just straight up water parks will also be sold off. Who knows? Um, and I, I, I don't think many parks will close, though. maybe like Six Flags St. Louis, well, that's the only one in the area, but, in the world of fun, but I don't think any parks will, like, close, um, besides maybe Great America, but I do think some might get sold off, and that prevents a nice opportunity for, like, Hershey or Merlin or SeaWorld Entertainment to go in and buy a snap up from these parks and maybe improve them, um, I say some stuff like Laurent because I know it's kind of like the throwaway park, Six Flags. What always, um, kind of they get that like Green Lantern, for example, from Six Flags Magic Mountain. It's currently going over to Laurent. It's being painted in yellow and being called something else. So they're kind of like the throwaway, the throwaway park. I feel like that'd be a good candidate to get sold off. I'm sure they want to be sold off to so get some better investment. Now, some of these parks, some someone made a great, um, a great uh, chart, like, and they said when, like. When was the last time some of these parks had a major investment, like major roller coaster? And some of these 
parks and they did it by presidents. So some of these parks haven't gotten investment, like major roller coasters, like Six Flags St. Louis, I believe, is one of them. It hasn't gotten a major roller coaster since George Bush was president. So that was like over a decade ago. So maybe with this new, um, this new, you know, merger here, maybe some of these smaller parks will get some investment and, and, or if they get sold off, they'll get sold off to a new owner and get some much needed investment. Get, I'm sure Six Flags St. Louis, I'm sure those people wouldn't mind if they got sold off to Merlin or SeaWorld Entertainment or something like that so they can finally get a new roller coaster. But this is a massive amount of parks. It is the biggest regional theme park company in, or amusement park company in the world. Um, they do call themselves theme parks though, so but there's a tech, technically an amusement park company. It's the biggest one in the world. Um, so, wow. And now they combine them, the money. They have a whole bunch of money now. I hope, though, because uh, Cedar Fair is, at least now Square Farm, is not the greatest with operations lately, unfortunately. And Six Flags Magic Mountain is not the greatest of operations either. So I'm hoping, I think Cedar Fair has slightly better operations. So I hope the... Cedar Fair team comes in and tries to fix operations for Six Flags Parks. Cedar Fair definitely excels in the cleanliness and theming department. At least here. I, other parks like Six Flags Fiesta Texas are gorgeous. And even Discovery Kingdom with its animal section is pretty nice as well. But talking locally, talking Southern California, Lost Bay Farm obviously crushes Magic Mountain in terms of theming. So I'm hoping the Cedar Fair people will come in and really help beautify Magic Mountain. You know, make Magic Mountain like look like Six Flags, Six Flags Fiesta Test, Fiesta Texas. That park is gorgeous. Now, even Great Adventure, which I believe has some animal exhibit, they that that park is th decent theming. You know, Six Flags parks aren't like terrible when it comes to theming. It's just Magic Mountain, and I think it's really that leadership there. So hopefully. Cedar Fair um, people come in and either replace the park president of Magic Mountain with the Cedar Fair person or you know, kind of put the hammer down because that's, you know, Magic Mountain should be, is, should be and is one, one, one of the most successful earning parks. And it's huge. It's 262 acres. There's no reason it should be as empty as it has been in the past few months. And there's no reason... It shouldn't be so empty that they had to switch back from a 365-day operation to back to a seasonal, a seasonal one. And that's uh, because that of attendance. So you really got to shape things up over there. So I'm really hoping the Cedar Fair people can go ahead and do that or help with that. Um, projects, though. Projects this is another interesting. Six Flags Magic Mountain has kind of stalled on their coaster, their new coaster coming for what we well, thought was 2025. And it still could be 2025 because it's... It doesn't take that long to put up the coaster. And so the, the demo is already done. And um, they just do some, and the marker's already set. They're just going to do some land clearing. Um, but I'm curious because, you know, a lot of people said well, maybe they're waiting to the merger. And I think that's the case. So hopefully you can see some movement on that project soon now that the merger is officially complete. But another thing that worries me about the merger is like something like Camp Snoopy. Camp Snoopy at Knott's just recently had its kind of very rushed debut. And I hope that's not what we're getting with this. I hope the merger didn't impact that because this is what we're supposed to get. This is a video from Knott's back in 2023. And we got we got the new Jeep ride and the Beagle Express, I believe, recently opened. But things like the theater were cut and replaced with very temporary looking turfy oh the camp camp, camp swing is not even open yet it's it's there but it isn't fully opened yet yeah it hasn't fully opened yet and the theater which is like over oh actually no this is the recent one so you see the theater is cut from the new um new animation video there got the coaster Coast was very restrictive though, and you got the off road rally. But there's supposed to be a lot more stuff with the camp, soon be renovation. I hope the merger didn't affect that. I hope that's not what we can expect post merger. Um, things getting cut and placed with cheap, um, open air seating areas that no one's sitting at because it's just too dang hot outside. So, I don't know. I, I am cautiously optimistic. I think there's gonna be some good things out of this merger, but I think 
there can be some unfortunate consequences of the merger. I'm very curious how to impact Six Flags Magic Mountain and Knott's Bay Farm, respectively, because those are two closest parks um, to me. But what do you guys think? Are you guys excited for this merger? Um, do you think it's going to do very well? Do your local parks very well? What do you think it could hurt them? Or do you think your local park might get sold off and you know, may end up better in the long run? Let me know in the comments below. And make sure if you want to help support the channel, go ahead and go and become a YouTube member for early access to videos like this one. Join the Patreon for... um permit information and other cool info that I may not do a video on. And of course, you can just subscribe for more theme park updates. And as always, have a Six Flags Day.